Hi guys, today I want to share another success story with you guys. It's actually a story of someone becoming wealthy. Um, it's not my own story, it's just a story that I read online. Okay, so hi guys, I actually became wealthy before uh, knowing anything about the law of attraction. I would like to share my story with you. Um, okay, so I used to think that a law of attraction was act was absolutely a bunch of bullshit until I watched a Bob Proctor video about frequency and vibration because he explained the law of attraction in a scientific way. I became interested in the law, quantum physics and quantum physics, etc. I started to dig more into it until I discovered Neville early 2018. Neville Goddard's speeches really touched my heart and 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 drew me in. I can sense him being genuine. I don't get this feeling when I listen when I listen to Tony Robbins or Abraham Hicks, for example. Same with many of the YouTubers that post daily videos to make money. I do like I do like Bob Proctor though, but no one comes close to Neville. One day it all clicked to me when I listened to Neville talking about imagination. This is when I froze for a moment and realized that's exactly what I have been doing all my life and more so when I was a kid. I grew up with a single mom in a third world country. We were poor. She couldn't afford to buy me the toys, bicycles, etc. that I desired. So instead of, instead of counting sheep and or numbers, I would just imagine myself playing with these toys I did my imagination in the shower and before bed because they just felt good. My imagination were so vivid when I was a kid that it felt I lived in a different world. I got everything that I always imagined through different ways, sales, gifts. The biggest one was the Sony PlayStation when it came out. It was impossible for my mother to buy it for me in a third, sorry, in a third world country with her salary, but I imagined owning one and playing it anyway. So one day my uncle called my mom and told her he had bought me a PlayStation he found at a garage sale and shipped it to us. Man, the joy I, f I, I had when I opened that package a few days later, my uncle lived in, lived in the US. He later brought us here. I would say it took two to three months to become reality. Another interesting one, I wasn't a Christian, but once I went to church out of curiosity and prayed to have the bicycle that I desired, beautiful bicycles that I really wanted but my mom couldn't afford. That same night, I had a dream of Jesus, the man who I saw a picture of at the church telling me I would give you anything you want. This was one of the realistic vivid dreams I would never forget. And a few days later, I was at a family gathering and my, and my aunt's husband randomly gave only me a big chunk of money because he was tipsy. This was, sorry, this is a guy that I saw maybe once, a, maybe twice a year. Imagine you are eight, to nine years old and you go to a gathering and someone tipsy hands you say two hundred dollars just because they're having a good day even my aunt was shocked at that time just like that i bought the bicycle that i wanted as i typed this and remember the joy i had it feels so good man i pray to god every child in this world will achieve their dreams these experiences as a child growing up made me believe things are possible. The next miracle for us was when we got visa to come to the US. I don't want to get into too much detail, but trust me, I and my mom coming here was nothing but a miracle from God himself. The shit that we went through and how we didn't give up and go back is all a miracle from, from God. Natives won't know what it is to come here from a third world country and start from zero without knowing any English. Now I will share with you how I became a multi-millionaire out of nowhere. 
I was 15 when I came to the U.S. Seeing all the nice, seeing all the nice things in this country, I told myself one day I would become a multi-millionaire. In my head and imagination, I saw myself a multi-millionaire at 40. Mansions, nice cars, etc. That was a that was my belief at that time. That one day I would become that I would be a well that I would be a wealthy. At eighteen or nine, at eighteen to nineteen, I told a friend that I was going to be a multi-millionaire. He told me if I didn't have rich parents, if and if I wasn't a genius, it will be impossible. I learned to not share my dreams with anyone. A few years later, I was about twenty-two to twenty-three when Uber company came around. I started to become an Uber driver while studying at a university. I did the Uber black car. That there was no Uber X back in the early days. One night, I picked up a guy who told me about this internet money called Bitcoin. I'm sure you all know about it by now. Back in the day, no one knew about it, and the people who knew called it a scam. There are still people who called it a scam. Anyway, I went home and re and researched Bitcoin, read articles about how this thing is a scam and a bubble. But this gut feeling told me I should buy some. Um. Okay, so this is what I did for two years. I Ubered, put my money into this scam, internet money, internet money. I it went up and down, crashed eighty percent at times, went up two hundred percent at other times. I didn't care, but at some point, I stopped paying attention to it because I was about to graduate and get a corporate job. Year two, year two thousand seventeen. I was twenty seven years old. Doing my yeah, I was twenty seven years old doing my own thing. Bitcoin started to skyrocket. This is when I was in absolute shock when I became a multi millionaire out of nowhere, because I thought I, I would be so in the late thirties, close to forties, but it came much sooner. I became financially independent for the rest of my life and bought the cars and the house I always imagined. All my friends call me lucky, but I understand it. I'm telling you this: this was not luck. It was my Intuition that knew what I wanted. I've seen so many miracles in my life that I didn't, that I don't believe in luck anymore. I only believe in God. There are a few success stories, but remember that I have always, that I have also failed at times. Every time I failed, it literally pushed me towards something greater. That I later found out why the failure happened and how it helped me. So many aha man. If I didn't felt there. No way! I will push into this other great things that I'm doing now. So thanks for reading.、Uh, dream big and believe in your dreams. You will shock everyone around, and you will be called lucky. But deep down, you will know the miracles are working to make your dreams come into reality. Okay, so this is um, this is a very interesting story. Um, I would say this is totally like a miracle. Um, I have certainly enjoyed this story, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it too. And I'll see you soon. Bye.